Hi guys, so today I'll be making my thank you cards for the people who ordered um, through my Close to My Heart last month. Um, so viennacreates.ctmh.com. So I have a couple things to show you. I think I wanna pattern my thank you card after this sketch, which is pattern two in the, oh, I shouldn't have closed it up. <laughs> in the um, Close to My Heart, Make It From Your Heart, volume four. And you can pick this up. It's I think around $10, maybe a little more than that. Um, and then I just put binder rings, but but I found my <laughs> binders. I was telling you guys, I'm like, oh, I found the binder. I bought it just for this. So you can put it in something like this, the Everyday Life Binder. These go on sale sometimes. This one is not, I don't think, on sale right now because it's the uh, color of the year, Bashful. Um, so this is one of the newer binders, but Z9996. I have a black and white stripe binder that I know is always on clearance or in the clearance section, so you can check that out. You can pop this in there and that works too. But um, this is the uh, design here and basically you can kind of see, but I'll cut up the papers as I get to them. So I wanna do something like that. Um, I have a thank you set, or this is just a card set from like a couple months ago from the stamp of the month. So this is Sunny Thoughts. So if you have that, you can do it. Otherwise it's not obviously offered right now, but I'm gonna use the thank you because I love it. I'm gonna try to use maybe this month's stamp of the month, because um, when I saw the little jar, I thought that's really cute. So of course these other things make me wanna use the other items, but I wanted to use the Postcard Perfect um, stamp set in a way, like with the flowers possibly, maybe the leaves, I don't know. So uh, really nice big stamp set, as you can see, these are pretty much like, um, titles maybe on a page or your scrapbook page, but I'll talk about this in just a second. So this is this month's stamp of the month. It's $5 if you spend 50 or more, or you can buy it for $17.95 straight out. And again, pretty good size uh, images here. I just love everything that's on here. It's so cute. Um, Cause then too, you know, I want to do the little lemons. I don't know. We'll see what, how we work it. Um, so we have that. Now this month uh, for scrap, National Scrapbooking Month, Close to My Heart came out with a kit, several kits. Um, so you can get the stamp set by itself really cute. You can pick up the Cut Above Layout Kit, which has to do um, three double side, you know, uh, full layouts. This is obviously um, a kit to do um, scrapbooking layouts. So there's all kinds of fun pieces in here. And I was even thinking about using that. So there's stickers, there's cutouts, there's paper, everything's in here. So it's a really nice kit. And if you sign up with Close to My Heart this month, they will send you this for free, uh, along with the rest of whatever, you know, they always send in the, um, new consultant kit plus your $50 credit that you can use on stamps and inks and other things that they sell. So um, keep that in mind. If you want this, you can get it free if you sign up. Again, if you sign up, um, you know, if you just want the discount, that's great. If you want to do a little business, that's great. You can do whatever you like. I'm not going to hound anyone or anything like that. So um, you can do whatever you like. They also have the Postcard Perfect Paper Pack, which is gorgeous. It's CC5181. So they sell all these things separately, but if you buy them all together in a bundle, it's a big discount. And the papers are just gorgeous. So I knew I wanted to use these for sure for my thank you cards. Um, I already kind of went through this at the beginning of the month, so I'm not going to go through each and every page, but really pretty. And there's two pages, two pages of each one. And it has like, um, vellum pages. So there's something the kind of fun for this one too. And then of course the cardstock that coordinates with all of it, CC 5183. Again, if you pick up everything together, this will all come together. I think around $50 is what they're asking. I'm not hundred percent. Cause I did pick this up a couple months ago cause I could get it early. So it comes with all the cardstock um, colors and the cardstock's really cool this time around the new cardstock. It has two different colors. Basically it has the color that you buy, which, you know, like let's say you bought olive or whatever, I don't know. And on the opposite side, it's gonna be a little shade lighter. So, so you can kind of use your paper in fun ways and contrast that too. So one page size darker, hope you can kind of see that this is lighter. So hopefully that makes sense. You can see this one's got gorgeous kind of tone, but this, the back side of it's a little bit lighter. So fun stuff. So let me start cutting things down and kind of have an idea of what I wanna do and I will get it put together. Okay, I think I'm ready. And just in case Miranda wakes up, I'm going to talk about this, but I might do the rest without music. So um, I'm gonna layer up my items just like this. So as you can see in the pattern, looks something like this. Now this back piece does not have a measurement. So it's basically the back of your card. I'm gonna use a white daisy cardstock card blank. So it's just basically your standard A2 size card, which is five and a half by eight and a half and you fold it in half and you have your five and a half by four and a quarter card. So I went ahead and cut this just that same size, even though I'm obviously wasting paper over here, but I'd rather do that than try to line up a little piece of paper, you know. So this is cut to four and a half, I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. Then I have a little strip here that is five and a half by a quarter, one quarter. So it's a very thin little strip. It's basically the backside of this paper actually. 
So I thought it was cute with the little leaves. And then this piece is one and a quarter by five and a half. So five and a half, one and a quarter, and it's gonna layer up something like this. This little guy, I had to make this bigger to accommodate the, um, the little glass. So um, he is, uh, let's see, how big is this guy? He is two and a half by three and a half, okay? Two and a half by three and a half. Because once I stamp this little image and cut it out with a little bit of border, it's going to be two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So we have that. So I'm gonna put these things to the side and we're basically just gonna layer those up. And this is a piece of white daisy cardstock. I'm gonna use a little bit of watercolor, but very little, so I am gonna use just the cardstock, but you can use watercolor paper if you prefer. I have a water pen here. I don't know where I got this. It might've been from Daiso or something, but it's just a water brush. Um, you can pick them up anywhere really nowadays. Um, memento ink, because I want it to not um, start leaking and look horrible once I start using the watercolor. And let me see if this is big enough. Okay, I have my close to my heart block. I think this is the three by three. And I'm gonna get my little image, and then I'll probably stamp some of the little fr um, fruits or whatever you wanna call these also, so we'll get there, but let me see. Ooh, this is gonna work. Let me lay this down so I don't get it all warped. I might have to get a bigger block. I think that'll be okay. As long as, yeah, no, hmm. I need a bigger block. That one's three by three. Will this one do it? Oh, that one might do it. You know what, let me use this one actually since it's already open. <laughs> it still has stamp from another time. This one should work. That's a big stamp. Okay, so this one is, I'm gonna have to really make sure this edge gets stamped. Um, this one is the two by three, I believe. And since I haven't used this guy yet, what I'm gonna do is ink it up with the memento ink. Just kind of give it a rub as I'm doing that. I'm gonna stamp it over here on the side. Okay. Usually stamps that are just like thin lines like this, they stamp pretty good just from the very first time. But a lot of times when you have ones like this where it has thickness, you really wanna rub that off and make sure you get a nice crisp impression. I'm gonna stand up for whatever reason. I always stand up when I go to stamp. And I'm just gonna stamp that guy. I need a few of these uh, on this one piece of paper. This is basically a scrap paper. I'm just going to stamp it here and here. All right, sounds good. And I'm gonna let that dry before we come in and do any uh, watercolor. Okay, so because I have no imagination, I'm just gonna make this into lemonade, but you can make it a tropical drink, a fun drink, tea, whatever you want. I'm just gonna grab, let me see about this one. This is the Close to My Heart um, watercolor set. And I'm just gonna come in, oh, this is so cute. And just color this in. This water's leaking out where I don't want it to leak, but that's okay. So just, you know, put a, an amount. It doesn't matter. Do you want to do more or less, whatever, but something like that. So you can see it's not super concentrated anywhere and just kind of blends off into nothing. Okay, so just a little color. That's all I'm looking for there. And I will do the other one the same way and wait until it fully dries. Okay, while that's drying, I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm going to stamp just a couple things. Um, on one of the other pieces of cardstock that comes in the uh, Postcard Perfect kit. As you see, one side it's a little bit lighter, this side's a little bit darker. I'm going to take my Ruby, and maybe I would, well, it'd be kind of cute to imitate this flower, but I'm just gonna do my own thing. But as you can see, this one has the pink, and then it has like an orange stamping over it, or pink and orange. But I'm gonna use Ruby just to make it not much brighter, but uh, make it really pop. And... We will take our, I think one other thing I do need to do is stamp the word thank you. I'm gonna fussy cut around that, but anyway. I'm just gonna use this one little guy, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this one little dude. And like I said, this one does have some areas where it's just flat, so I'm just gonna really, really rub that off there and just make sure that it's gonna stamp really nice. I think we're almost there. Okay. And you just do a few of these until you get a few perfect ones that you can cut. And I think that's cute. So I'm just going to cut those out and then I'm just going to cut them out with scissors just around there. And I also need to stamp the word thank you. So I'm going to stamp this word thank you probably on maybe some of the light blue paper, but I'll stamp it on the opposite side. Okay, where it's even lighter. And then I'll stamp it in like a blue 
color. Um, I used Ruby there and maybe I'll use Pacifica or something like that to stamp thank you and I'll cut around that too. Okay guys, so I have my little pieces. This is gonna go on top of here. This is gonna go like in here. And then you can always put the straw. I just, I don't know how I feel about the straw. Like I wanna use it, but maybe I'll still cut a piece of straw and put it just sticking out the very edge. I just don't know if I wanna put it the whole way in here. We'll see. Um, I just want to show you one other thing. When I first saw this, I was like, what is this about? See these little cute stri like strings, which will go the length of a card, which is super cute. It's like a little light bulb, so you can color them in. You can put the little light bulbs on here, or you can put the little pennants on here, or both. Super adorable. Oh my gosh, this thing, look, it has ice cubes. Little light, I mean, this is really, really cute. So anyway, I'm gonna use some of these wedges, I think. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both sizes or both of them, but I'm going to put this on a stamping block. This is my little one inch stamping block, which is nice whenever you have something small. This is pear ink. I'm just gonna make sure it's gonna stamp well. I don't, as far as using both, I'm not sure, cause like this would be really cute to put on here too, but I'm gonna use a flower instead. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, probably not gonna use that one. But you can just come in here and stamp some little Limes. I was gonna say you can stamp them off, but that'd be silly because if it's a jar, it should have limes in there, huh? I'll just put that one right there. Okay, just stamp them wherever you like. Just remember that the thank you is gonna be on here, so you don't really wanna cover that up. But I'm just gonna put those there. I guess we could use this round one here. Okay, let's use it just because he's here already anyway. And rub, 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 make sure that one's ready to go. And I'll just stamp it right in the middle there. Maybe it won't even show. But the thank you, it might not show up, but this one might. All right, so there we go. And so what I'm gonna do with this guy, you can cut it out according to its shape or just, you know, um, all around him, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice square, but I think I am gonna cut out the shape. So I'm just going to go around as close as I can to the edge of the jar. And this is what I mean by fussy cut, because you're doing it yourself <laughs> instead of using like a, die. Uh, I think it would have been really cute if this had die set too because I had so many little pieces but I'm sure that die set would be ridiculous expensive because there are a lot of little pieces here. So I just kind of get as close as I can like there I'm not going to go into each little piece. And then we're going to go around here. Okay so I'm just going to cut it out and I'll be right back. Okay so I went ahead and stamped the straw in sunset. Gold rush would be a good one. Anything kind of orangey. And I stamped it on the opposite side of um, this page that was in the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and we'll see how we're gonna put it together. But look how cute this is already. I mean, this is coming together. And Miranda just woke up. So I'm going to put this together with music and I hope you guys enjoy. Remember the new um, catalog is out for the next four months. It's the new expressions and it's gorgeous as spring and summer fun stamps, like just some amazing things. So I'll have some coming in. And of course I'll share that with you when they come in. So check out viennacreates.ctmh.com. And thank you everyone. If you have questions, please ask and I'll see you at the next one. So let me put this together and you'll see it right now.